Right, the rainwater flushing system for the loo is long overdue for an upgrade for the past, I don't know, over a year. I've just been constantly moving water around. We started off with a 150 litre uh, ice box igloo cooler and uh, the water went from there to the igloo and uh, then we added a pump system just a cheap well tamper anti tamper switch with a beer can upturned to turn on the camping pump uh, which is for a caravan which normally I have a pump it into the water barrel the blue barrel or the glue straight, uh, straight off <coughs> through the overflow um, it's time to do things properly so this is a 100 litre water butt got a sensor on top got a sensor on the bottom so when the water runs out the sensor will knock a re uh, relay off uh, and when we're filling it up we'll have a separate circuit so when it reaches top it doesn't overflow it stops um, the water then go down into the next barrel and the level of this one will go up and the level of this one will go down allowing the pump to carry on I've done it this way so um, if I use a small small 12 volt pump it's not going to stress it too much it'll fill that up so far and then it'll have a little rest anyway <clears throat> so I've had to cast a cement slab to level it up and I've had to do that all the way along and this is where it gets interesting because I've joined these two together uh, I've left the tap on that one I'm short one tap because I bought one of these barrels didn't have a tap I got it for a tenner um, wicks surprising enough here's uh, the next kicker uh, I bought one I bought one from B&Q brilliant priced up my little project and uh, Got other bits going, got my cement slab down, went back to B&Q and they'd increased the price from £23 to £30 over the weekend. Um, that's the stand, the tap, uh, the rainwater diverse kit, which goes on the downpipe. So I was at a loss, but luckily Wix saved the day and they've got a uh, promotion on this month, July. Um, down from 25 to 20 plus you get a 10% uh, trade discount so 18 pounds I think that is 18 pounds each anyway so we now have if I get out of the sun B&Q on one two three four nice so I've still got access down to my lean-to now I've got 500 litres of water storage here once I've plumbed it all in I'm going to move the, the barrels out of the way. I'm going to get rid of these 25 litre things because I've been transferring water with them for months and fed up with them. And what I've been using is polypipe, which is uh, a plastic pipe which can be used for heating and uh, mains drinking water. And uh, uh, JC, I can't remember the name, but it's speed fit and it just pushes together. Use little inserts if uh, if you have to, and uh, these are tank connectors. Uh, normally for your cold water supply tank, which comes down uh, if you've got a specific central heating where you've got a hot water cylinder, you have a, uh, a tank up in the roof, uh, filling that back up and then ball cock. Yeah. So I've just got a couple of tank connectors to join them together. I've actually now I've pushed these all up together. You see. This one's a little bit too long because it needs to be shortened, but I've filled it up with water now. So what we need to do is get the other three done. So yeah, I think I'm probably going to put a valve between this one and that one because the currently the bath water goes into that. And this is not going to be very nice. Um, to have these all joined together. So I, I don't think I'm actually going to get anything done in this video. Um, just talky talky. And uh, the stands are obsolete, but what I was thinking of doing is because these slide together is uh, actually creating a filter for the rainwater. So all the filters I see online are very expensive. So if I can put different layers of stuff in here, 
and then if I get some downtime, I can run water for it. Maybe put a couple of sensors in it to, <coughs> well actually magnetic reed switches and a relay pump. Pump water in the top, take water at the bottom. Disable the bits getting into the loo. <coughs> That's another thing I've had with this prop, this, this system is the, this, the loo fills up with uh, silt and every so often you have to flush it all out. Um, so once I've got all these all connected, uh, I've got to get a little box, uh, a couple of relay sensors for the pumps, redo all this, um, somehow stick the pump to the bottom so it doesn't move about. Um, the water meter is submerged, it shouldn't really be, it is waterproof and it has done well so far but it's not going to last forever if it's submerged. So I want to put the meter up, up here somewhere out of the way so that we can see how much water we use and also redo the float switch in the loo because it's starting to stick where, where the water's been flowing over it time and time again. It's uh, Sometimes it doesn't shut off and it drains all your water or it doesn't switch on so you flush the loo and it doesn't refill. So we need to do something with that. I might do something with one of these because these, these feel quite loose. Nothing's going to stop them. So uh, yeah, these switches when they're down they are made so power will flow through but they can only take a couple hundred milliamps which is no good for the pumps so we have to have a relay and uh, when they're up they're off so this one's this way and the one underneath at the bottom is the other way so it will drop when the water level drops break the circuit that is my plan that is my uh, uh, my month's allowance spent for this sort of project so yeah I'm gonna probably have a couple of videos do with the rainwater loo flushing system over the next month, this month. <clears throat> yeah, so keep your eyes peeled. Uh, let, me, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got any great ideas, and I'll try and put them in with it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and see you in my next video. Cheers.